Sometimes the fact isn't accurate sufficient. Every so often people deserve greater. The Dark Knight and the majority of Christopher Nolan's filmography is about lies. It's approximately the lies we tell ourselves with a view to stay and to have interaction with other humans. For Nolan, he sees deception now not as an inherently malevolent destructive pressure, however as a tool. After all, Nolan's profession as a storyteller will be uncharitably framed as expert liar. He tells you matters that haven't occurred so one can illuminate a larger fact, and Nolan's films occur to be involved with the nature of fact. Nowhere is that clearer than within The Dark Knight. Even as we should study how the movie changed the superhero style or what it meant to the Batman franchise, for our purposes, I want a cognizance on how the film exists in the charming warfare between truth and lies, and how Nolan applies it beyond people and into a societal framework. Because The Darkish Night is one of the maximum grossing and maximum popular films of all time, I'm going to count on your familiar with the plot of Joker, Heath Ledger, coming to Gotham to help the mob kill Batman, Christian Bale, who has been terrible for their business. Meanwhile, Batman has teamed up with Lieutenant Gordon, Gary Oldman, and Gotham's White Knight district lawyer Harvey Dent, Aaron Eckhart, to take down organized crime in Gotham. It's a simple crime thriller setup, but Nolan's large cognizance is at the lies that everybody is telling each to themselves and to every other. The Joker works on deception, tricking to the mob into wondering that he has any goal of killing Batman, even as absolutely everyone else is operating on delusion. The cause the Joker is so a hit is that he doesn't need whatever beyond chaos. He has no identification to assemble or better aspiration than destruction. And because of this, he's, in a deeply twisted style, the maximum honest individual within the film. It's no longer that the Joker doesn't lie. He lies all of the time to get what he desires. The opening series suggests how he makes use of lies to manipulate people by way of allowing his team to consider that they'll get a larger proportion via killing their companions. He lies to the mob to make them agree with he's their errand boy and now not someone who's robbing them. It might be tempting to accept as true with that we are able to agree with whatever Joker says. In spite of everything, he's a terrorist and a madman who, as Alfred, Michael Caine, so succinctly places it, simply desires to watch the arena burn. But the truth of the Joker is that he's the largest schemer of them all. He might also have an any greater intention in thoughts than the scheme, however he needs to expose that order itself as a lie. You spot, their morals, their code, it's a bad comic story. Brought to the first signal of trouble, Joker tells Batman, they may be simplest as exact as the arena allows them to be. I will display you. While the chips are down, these, those civilized humans, they will eat every different. And in the end, he's proven proper. The take a look at of this notion could appear to be the boat test. Joker has a ship complete of innocent civilians and any other made from hardened criminals, and they every have a detonator to the opposite's boat. In the event that they don't detonate to blow up the alternative deliver, Joker will blow up both ships. It's basically a writ huge of the tryouts Joker holds in advance within the movie. The civilians come plenty towards blowing up the criminals than the opposite way round, but the experiment fails. Human beings aren't willing to kill to make sure their very own survival, so now not anybody is as twisted as Joker. But the ship test isn't Joker's endgame. The deliver test is merely prelude to Joker's plan with Harvey, which comes returned around to how all of the darkish night is built on the lies we tell ourselves. The perception that Gotham needs a white knight at all is already a lie. Batman is aware of he can by no means be the image Gotham wishes. He's a vigilante operating in the shadows. He's a comforting, extrajudicial pressure that Gotham lets in to operate. They need you right now, however once they don't, they'll cast you out, like a leper. The Joker successfully predicts. Batman's hope, and the wish for the humans of Gotham, represented by using Gordon, the everyman, rests with Harvey. However in a movie built on foreshadowing phrases, Harvey writes his own epitaph when he says, you both die a hero otherwise you live long enough to see yourself turn out to be the villain. But, Harvey's villainous turn isn't surely turning into Two-Face, however instead how he abdicates all obligation that allows you to flip across the world to danger. Harvey's truth will become not about restoring order, however with the aid of taking it far from humans absolutely. He's twisted by means of Joker. A person who made his own success is now not able to make something after the tragedy of dropping Rachel, Maggie Gyllenhaal, so he turns everything over to his coin. Harvey offers up being a part of the arena and being an energetic participant in it, and even as the movie's larger awareness is that positioning Harvey as Gotham's savior become a mistake, Harvey's villainy comes from discarding fact, lies, and the whole thing else because he can't live in a world that's no longer ordered by means of independent risk. He's still mendacity to himself, but it's the most effective manner he is aware of the way to stay. And that doesn't make him so distinctive than Bruce. It's a sly flow for Nolan to take his hero and make him emblematic of the truth, lies dichotomy. We typically count on our heroes to be crusaders for properly values. We be given that the truth is ideal, it's something we're advised as youngsters to always tell the reality, and therefore Batman must be at the side of reality. 
Except his complete existence is a lie. He's clearly billionaire Bruce Wayne, and he operates out of doors of the regulation. Batman is a benevolent mislead pacify Gotham. He's there to clean up the streets and then from a public-facing angle, Harvey Dent can take over and be the white knight that Gotham desires. The cherry on top for Bruce is that when the paintings is performed, he and Rachel can be together. For a person whose commercial enterprise is deception, Bruce fails to comprehend all of the methods he lies to himself. Nolan constantly returns to his fascination with lies and the way they may be each benevolent and malevolent. They're a primal force that may satisfaction and damage. In Memento, we visible that Leonard Shelby, a man with no quick-term memory, has built his life on lies so he can maintain transferring ahead. In Insomnia, Will Dormer constructed his recognition on a lie and tries to live beforehand of his lies due to the fact he believes the cease justifies the manner till the fact finally catches up with him. In The Prestige, Angier and Borden are each magicians, professional liars, but the lies Angier tells himself creates a cycle of infinite death whereas Borden's lie permits for his liberation and reunification with his daughter. Lies are tools, and within the dark night, they allow for self-deception no longer just on a non-public degree, however a societal stage. What makes Joker so fearsome is that he threatens to reveal a reality about human nature that might collapse society. In case you damage humans as spirit and they couldn't cope with that the quality people is absolutely a monster, then you deprive humans of the lie they need the maximum, hope. Batman and Gordon determine that during order for society to characteristic, it have to be constructed on a benevolent lie. Every so often the reality isn't accurate enough, Batman says. Now and again human beings deserve greater. Just as storytelling makes use of lies to impose narrative order, the world makes sense if I align these fictions effectively, so too do Batman and Gordon conspire to inform Gotham a comforting lie. Batman takes responsibility for the murders devoted by Harvey, and Harvey receives to die a hero. Maybe Batman and Gordon aren't giving the humans of Gotham enough credit, however their journey has led them to believe that society isn't held collectively by means of the reality, however with the aid of benevolent lies. Even Bruce holds himself collectively with the lie that Rachel turned into going to look forward to him and now not stay with Harvey. The melancholy truth at the coronary heart of the Dark Knight is that we want lies to keep our character and collective psyches collectively. Due to the fact from time to time the truth isn't desirable sufficient, 